Hello, and uh, welcome back. It's Wade, out for a ride this beautiful um, Saturday, no, it's Sunday, Sunday morning. I'm heading down, where am I? Um, I'm on the Hubbard, or the, is it Hubbard's Road? Heading towards a little bit of dirt. It's just around the corner here, I believe. It's a old, well, it's not even old. It's, it's friggin' brand new almost. Uh, but it's been around for a long, long time. The Bullwater Mercy, Mercy Road. And it's a pipeline. And logging and all kinds of stuff up here. So we're going to go check it out. Uh, depending on how far we can, we can go. But basically this would take you... We're going to go over the 103. 102, 103, towards the the 103 that's going towards uh, Bridgewater and uh, Mahone Bay. So there's the pipe, like I was saying, and they blocked off the access from the 103 when they twinned it, and they twinned it last year, or they finished the twinning last year. And I've always wanted to go up here, check this out, and uh, because this is this can go like all the way to the valley. This this goes for. For a, for a long time if you really want to and a lot of people do come back here for off-roading and four-wheeling and and all that nice stuff uh, and it's really this is look this this is beautiful or so far um, I don't know how far I'm gonna go like I said but I'm gonna go check it out for a little bit and see what we find uh, you can see there's a trail here this is a part of the uh, rails to trails uh, right there you can see the wood that's a trail that goes basically from Halifax to Bridgewater and it may even go to Yarmouth uh, I'm not really 100% sure but um, you know if, if you really if you like that type of trailing and you know on uh, you can take your ATVs and um, four-wheelers on it but you can't take, and you can take uh, off-road dirt bikes on it, but you can't take um, dual sports. It even, there's a sign that says no dual sports. It's like, wh why? I can ride a ATV on it, a big side-by-side -side on it, but I couldn't take, you know, my street legal um, dual sport on it. So you can see there's the, 10, uh, the 103 right there. Uh, we're going to be heading over towards that The towers there. We're, I don't know if we're going to go to the wards the towers or you know to the towers itself But uh, this is the road would take you to the towers, you know for access and stuff so uh, we're, we're on the right path for sure And like I said, there's a lot of people driving along here um, Checking it out I guess I, I don't know why they would bring their cars down here it really makes no sense it's really it's not it there's a lot of potholes here so you know unless you're driving a nice dual sport or ATV or I wouldn't say ATV but uh, adventure bike this would be nice on an adventure bike too especially because the adventure bike gives you a lot more of the um, the range that that my bike won't wouldn't have because of the size of their, their tanks um, so here we're going to go over the 103 right now. This is brand new. They put this bridge in, um, like I said, the last last two years, three years, while they were working on twinning it. Um, so that's the uh, 103 going that way would be uh, Lunenburg, and Bridgewater that way is up to uh, Halifax. And I think if you go down there, yeah, where the gate is, that's going to get you to those towers themselves. And uh, we really, we're not going to go there, I guess, because I saw the gate. And this is a, the B Bullwater Mercy, it's, um, uh, what's we call it? It's a logging company. So they're probably doing a lot of the, uh, the logging stuff. You can see people, they're unloading, there's a ramp to unload your uh, ATVs. So this is, like I said, this is, people use this for ATVing and off-roading and you can see like I could tell this road's been ripped up a little bit you can see but I think there's a lot of traffic on it so it keeps it from really getting 
um, rutted, per se. But you could see that there, it was rutted at one point. Um, maybe these people are here fishing, I, I don't know. But we're going to a lake or something. Probably fishing, because they're not, that doesn't look like a big lake, but um, you know, like there wouldn't be a cottage or anything on it, but hey, you know, each throne. And uh, this is this is not bad, you know. It's rough enough to uh, to enjoy. Hopefully, you don't get no uh, no flats. And um, it looks like there's all kinds of off-road side side streets on this or side trails. And checking the map, like I said, I could go probably to uh, to the valley following this road. Um, let's see, let's see what this says here. Forestry equipment, heavy track working, hiking trail road, forever growing forests and properties, farms, forestry. So there's a forestry up that way. We're gonna go check up this way first. We might not even go that way. We, that might be another day, who knows. There's the pipe again. Oh, this goes to a dam. There's a dam up there. I could see from the, um, ooh, nice. Um, probably there would take you, yeah, it'll take you, well, we might jump down there and check out the dam, but there's a dam right over there. You can see, see the dam? And that's a pretty big dam. Like I was, I'm really surprised how big that is, holy. And you can see the spillway over to the side there. That's, that's pretty friggin' cool. Road gate ahead, okay. Apparently we don't go that way, but I'm assuming, yeah, so there's the Nova Scotia Power, so that, that would probably take you right to the axis of the, uh, there you can go, you see there's people going down to the, uh, to the dam. We're going to go check that out for sure. We're just going to go up the top here, we maybe just go right back down and check out that dam. That's friggin' cool. People walking the dog, so that's probably that car there, that uh, that black car we saw. Fine road. So there's an offshoot road, I guess. Like some of these. Yeah, some of these don't look like, and look, you can go down there, like there's all kinds of stuff here. I think this is probably the main, main road. Um, a gravel pit. Besides that other road that we saw, where the, uh, the heavy tractors and tr or, uh, heavy equipment, logging equipment, We're still going up. This is steep. I wouldn't say it's steep, it's just long. I didn't expect this. I wonder if that made loop, perhaps. I didn't see, I saw the sign there, I missed it.
Pine Pipe Pine Line? Pine Line Road, I think it's called. getting hot. there puddle So the other, uh, when was it Friday? So this is Sunday. Uh, Friday I, I went and got my first uh, motor vehicle inspection on the uh, on the uh, the Honda here, the ZRF 250L. Uh, in Nova Scotia, you have to get a uh, basic. It's called a motor vehicle inspection. Basically, it's a kind of like a roadworthy inspection. Make sure you got, uh, you know, your brakes, uh, brakes work, uh, lights work. Uh, there's no um, no visible body holes and stuff like that. And you know, it's basically all all around safe. So you have to do that uh, when you get a brand new vehicle. Uh, it's good for three years initially. And. Um, so the bike is three years, three years old. It was three years old in uh, April, or when I took ownership, basically it was April. So the three years is up, and uh, I had to get it. Uh, I had to go get it in inspected. So that was a that wasn't the easiest job to find someone to do it because of the whole um, you know situation with the lockdowns and stuff. And uh, some places were only doing their brands that they sold, and you have to have a uh, motorcycle mechanic uh, in the past you could go to uh, any uh, any mechanic that could do inspections but uh, I don't know sure I don't know when they they changed that rule uh, but so I had to find a uh, actually a motorcycle motorcycle mechanic to do the inspection and like I said uh, things were backed up and things were um, restricted and, and, and stuff like that so once I found a place and of course it was uh, yucky weather rainy misty foggy uh, and you know it wasn't pouring thank God my luck uh, uh, all week as soon as I booked it you know it was sunny I think I booked it two weeks ago uh, when I booked it, it was a sunny day on a Friday and then like the next day it was like 30 millimeters of rain and of course I was like yeah of course but it didn't, it wasn't that bad, it was misty and uh, foggy, so uh, I didn't get soaked like I was uh, expecting. And the bike passed. It passed with no, uh, no issues, uh, no concerns, uh, no questions, basically the guy just took it in. It seemed like he looked at it for like maybe 10 seconds, 20, 10 minutes or so, less and rolled it back out and uh, it was done. Oh, the power power lines here. Uh, so I bet you these these paths take you back towards the power line. That may even take you right into uh, to, to Hubbard to Bedford. If, if that power line goes all the way there, I'd have to uh, check the map. So now I'm good for another two years with that inspection. So like I was saying, three years on a new and then two years 
every other. It used to be every year. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it used to be everywhere, every year. And they changed that to every two years and three years on new. And it's really, I understand the concept of it and I think it's good. And for, you know, because it makes sure the cars are safe and you're not going to be driving around the road and the guy next to you his wheel fall off and go through your windshield or something like that. Because you, people will ride their cars completely unsafe, you know. So, so I, I think it's good like that. But the penalties for missing it, $1,600. That's insane. Like, the government is such a friggin' ripoff. You know, especially on, I don't understand if the, tr if the vehicle is a complete, um, you know, junker that shouldn't be on the road, you know, then I think it should be some kind of conditional or stipulation. Like, if, if you miss it and your vehicle uh, is, you know, less than four years old, less than five, less than seven, even a seven-year-old vehicle is pretty friggin' good shape these days. But something that's uh, 14 years old or more, and you miss the inspections, then you know the fine should increase based on the age of the vehicle. That that would be more practical and would make way more sense than you know missing it. Like mine was expired for uh, expired in April, so May, and it's June now. So there's been a whole month where I, I didn't have the inspection done just because of the timing and I couldn't get it done and whatnot. So I reduced my uh, my driving and uh, but if I got pulled over, you know, I could have could have had a sixteen hundred dollar fine for a vehicle that in every aspect of its safety and worthiness is pretty, you know, hundred percent really. Um, it is, like I said, it's only three years old, and, you know, I keep it in good shape. Oh, there's a road up there. But, you know, my vehicle that, you know, is worthy would, uh, face the same consequences of a 20-year-old car with, you know, no floorboards and, uh, cracked windshield and lights that erode and bald and sculpting or scalloped tires and alignment. Like, that vehicle would have the same fine as mine, which really doesn't make any sense just because of the situation, the, uh, the virus, and, uh, you know, I couldn't get it done. That was just the, the way it worked. This is nice. Like, I love this older growth here. Um, yeah, this is, this is nice. Some little, little side shots that I would never go down. I just looked at that as pure mud. Uh, but some of those other side roads that we passed, they look pretty freaking cool. And it does seem narrower than the roads in the past. The, you know, the roads that we've just driven through it seems to be getting a little narrower. Um, but it is still, uh, I like this, I like this. This is nice. Little side shot down there. Like if you had a four-wheeler or a nice side-by-side, -side, this would be the bomb. And with the buddy, especially, you'd probably need, I'd, I'd want to do the side-by-side -side with the buddy or something. Uh, especially because I can see some of these side roads that I would, if I had a four before, side-by-side, -side, I'd be like, we're going down that for sure. Um, but I could see the, the mud, uh, and I'd want somebody with a, I'd want to winch myself, plus I'd want somebody else, uh, just, just in case to help each other get out, because I could see, I could see the mud, take a plain havoc on your, uh, your adventure, but it would be fun. Big rock there. So another side shot. That one doesn't look like it's as maintained as the one previous. So 
maybe I'll take a, on the next, uh, maybe the next major intersection. Which one's this again? So this is Pipeline Road. So it is Pipeline, not Pine. Pipe. It's P-I-P. -P. Pretty sure it was P-I-P. This looks like this is a brand new-ish. Ooh, God, that looks like she was mucky. Ooh, this is getting narrower. I'm making a turnaround spot. Ooh, a bridge. Oh, we should check that out. There's so much to check out here. Holy cow. I was just saying check it out for um, for fishing. There's another little doesn't look like it says uh I'm kinda curious how far I am in, so that's kind of why I'm thinking of making a, a stop just to check the uh, the map but I'd like to find a nice open area to do that oh, we could do it here another turning spot I may break this into uh, two, two, two videos, depending on how far I go, because I'm, I think I'm quite far in already. going up, Lord. This is beautiful. Wow. See the hill in the background. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, look at this. I don't know how well you can see this on the, oh my lord. Seriously, I don't know how well you can see this on the uh, the video, but there's a awesome looking lake. Like, whew. Wow. Um, so we're just gonna probably go down to that corner. Um, 
I don't think we can get to that lake. That lake looks like it is pretty far. We'll see. I don't want to go too, too much farther. But wow. You know, views like that uh, is the reason to ride a motorcycle and to get off the uh, the beaten paths. Because uh, in the fall, that would be beautiful also. And, uh, you know, a lot of people probably have never seen that. Hey, what do we got here? Oh. doing some camping doing some camping off-road camping I want to keep going, but I want to stop. <laughs> it's kind of kind of torn, torn. What to do? Damn! Oh, get off the track here a little bit. Oh, buddy rabbit! I think there was I think this is where we're gonna call it. Let's get off the road here for a sec. And let's see if we can figure out where we are on the map. Oh god, these gloves. Well, of course it's not gonna Oh, I can do my finger. Woo! Okay, so let's see where we're at. We're in the woods. Ooh, okay, so let's see if we can get this oriented a little bit. Where are we? Oh my lord. Okay. Winds are... Oh, we're... Let's fix this orientation a little bit here. So we're... So we started... So you can... I don't know if you can actually see... We're almost in Mount Uniac. Wow. We're almost in Mount Uniac. 
and we started in Upper Tan. Basically, we started almost in Upper Tantalan. Yeah, it was basically Upper Tantalan uh, to Mount Uniac, going through the woods. Uh, we've gone quite a bit. Really, we, we have gone quite a bit of distance. Um, we're going to go back. Um, basically, it connects around here. So, we got that much distance to go, which is... Uh, I have no clue if you could see any of that uh, on the camera. Uh, yeah, I'll put a, a little map up or something, a picture, so you can have a look at it right here. See, where, see what we've done. The coolness we've done here. Okay, we're going to head back. And I might just break this video right here, uh, do the video uh, a backwards pass, and because uh, this this is probably a 20 minutes video already, so we're gonna let you go. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful ride, uh, and uh, have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I think this is this 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 is worth a subscription uh, and a like this this video. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I wouldn't say concerns, but any comments, leave them below. And uh, as always, have a great day and uh, safe rides. Goodbye.